Decisions are tough. We're faced with decisions every single day. Simple decisions. Tea or coffee? Chicken or beef? Green or gray shirt? These are literally the only two colors I have. And it seems like when you've made the decision, you have 14,000 more waiting for you on the other side. What kind of tea? Do I have sugar? Do I add some honey? Do I have milk or do I have cream? We make these simple decisions every day, 24 seven. But sometimes we forget to take a second to think before making a choice. If you're like me, sometimes you get so overwhelmed by all the factors of your decision. You get so afraid and put so much pressure on it that you decide to do nothing. You choose not to choose. Fear plays a big role when making a choice. The need to be accepted or to fit in is real. We don't want to stand out too much or do anything too out of the ordinary. When Carly and I decided to move into a bus and travel full time, we literally dove in head first. We sold our house, we sold our cars, we sold our farm equipment, 90% of our possessions, and even our little pygmy goats. This was a big decision. Big decisions need big time. It took us about a year to say yes, but we didn't want to look back in five years and wonder what if. What if we had been brave enough to go for it? What if we chose to live a different life? We took a look at what could happen, like our worst case scenario. And once we accepted that that very well could happen, our decision didn't seem so scary anymore. And we jumped. Sometimes you just have to make the choice. Jump in with both feet and not let the fear and doubt get you down. What decisions are you struggling with right now? You're only one choice away from the life you want to live. Got my words there. It took me a second. We took a look at our. Uh, we took a look. We took a look at what could. Uh, took a look. Took a look. We took a look at. Took a look. We're back to the took a look. Took a look. We took a look at what. <laughs> uh, uh, we looked at what could happen. My aunt. They named her Kalakalak. My uncle was came named Ken, and then when uh. She'd go and wake him up every morning. She'd go, can up, get up. And so the, all her sisters called her Kalakaluk. Kalakaluk, Kalakaluk. She was born in 1973.